what are obviously the case is a major difference, but what else are we looking at that's different here versus our stage four extreme? Uh, internally, as far as the internal parts, it's uh, those parts are identical to the stage four extreme as far as the you know billet crankshaft, ARP case bolts, the uh, I beam rod, six twenty five bolts, and a nine twenty seven diameter pin. Okay. Likewise, the matching pin and piston that go with that. Uh, so block wise, the biggest difference is you know obviously it's a billet, mm -hmm. and you know there's no you know threaded plugs or anything like we use in the OE cases for our stage fours. Um, you know, so we have total control over, you know, how we make it. We're able to leave material, you know, for strength in places where we feel are weak in the OE case. Okay. As well as more material for like larger fasteners, such as the fasteners going around the perimeter of the case are larger than OE. So we're able to, you know, provide, you know, some better clamping and stability there. There's also some bosses internally, so we can add some bolts there that are not at all in the stock case because there's no place okay. to put them. So the the, you know, the advantage of billet is it allows you to start, you know, with a somewhat clean slate to add things, features that you can yet still fit within the package that fits in the car and as well as the other pieces that bolt to it. Okay. The other the block is also features uh, uh, a flange step sleeve. Okay. That's you know thick wall sleeve. You know these are capable of going you know over a hundred millimeter in bore size and still safely run. Uh, these now do we bore it to a hundred millimeter? No, we can we can start off at ninety nine point five millimeter. Oh, okay. So we can actually go with an OE size. Uh, we don't because the nine twenty seven wrist pin and all of our pistons are made ninety nine seven five millimeter for that. So we do go straight to that, but you have room to grow. Okay. Uh, with the sleeves and the sleeves are replaceable. Mm, interesting. You know, which is nice. Uh, the again, uh, it's semi finished from uh, the manufacturer in that it does come with a 14 millimeter head stud holes. Uh, we have to uh, set the deck height for our piston crank rod combination at our you know fire lock groove machining. Okay. Uh, for the head gaskets, and you know we also go back through the main bore. You know, after you know assembling with the uh, ARP case bolt kit. Okay. And it's gold too. It's gold. <laughs> Everybody loves gold. <laughs> okay, now Jim, what would be, I guess, the overall advantage versus our stage four extreme? Because obviously, when people look at this case half or the stage block, um, and see the price difference between our stage four extreme. I guess also who would this block be more suited for? This would be the next step up as far as, you know, say serious racing and the fact that obviously the, the block is stronger the, with the uh, the flans sleeves being thicker wall, there's some more stability there, uh, you know, as we add, you know, more pressure. Okay. Someone doing drag racing just be looking at this block or would someone doing road racing also, would this be something suitable for them or? It'd be suitable for, you know, basically any application. I mean, you okay. could run it on the street and it'd be perfectly fine. Okay, all right. And then as you, you did say the sleeves are replaceable. Obviously they look like they're made out of a different material as well. They're made out of a uh, ductile cast iron. Okay. And uh, as far as a need to replace them is, uh, you know, once it's been bored out, you know, to its max, as far as its next rebuild, instead of replacing the block, as okay. we do with our OE cases, you know, we can just change the sleeves and we can start all over again with another set of pistons and work our way up, you know, through the various oversizes as needed for future rebuilds. So okay. know, this has, you know, potential for a longer life expectancy. For racing and right. doing that type, mm -hmm. of, that type of heavy stuff with that. You know, if you damage one sleeve or one cylinder, you can replace just that sleeve. You don't need to replace the entire yeah, block. block. Okay. All right. So that's something to think about, guys, um, for you guys that are trying to build a serious drag race car or even a road race car. Um, this might be a suitable option for you with, you know, expansion to grow down the road. And any time that a repair would need to be made, um, it's going to be, I guess, a lot less or a lot more cost effective. In that aspect of it, as far as, you know, it, it, you can, you know, as long as the block itself is structurally sound to support the sleeve, you know, there's no reason not to continue using it and just replace sleeves as needed. Okay.